Okay, this is Paranoid Android 1.5A on the HTC Droid Incredible 2. Let's jump into settings. Let's go to about phone. And Incredible 2, 4.0.4. Paranoid Android. And right there, current version 1.5. Check for updates. Oh, I'm not connected, but this is the latest version. You do have performance settings. See what caution. Let's go to processor. Let's see if we can overclock this. Let's set it to 1.5. Let's go to performance and let's set a boot. All right. So let's jump into some of the paranoid Android settings. These settings with launcher, lock screen, themes, and system are all part of CyanogenMod. I just did a video on CyanogenMod in my last video actually. So I'm not going to really go into those. I'm just going to go into the Paranoid settings, which is the main feature of this ROM. But this ROM is based off of CyanogenMod 9, the last ROM I, I reviewed. Um, this is actually based off of that. So, so let's go into configuration. You have tablet mode optimized, tablet mode small, tablet phone mode optimized, and phone mode stock. So you can actually turn this into a miniature tablet. You can change the um, density per inch, and you can, so you can basically tweak custom apps and everything. So if if you want. Maybe your Gmail in like the tablet form, but you don't want anything else in like like a tablet UI. You can like choose that. So I'm gonna go into configuration and choose tablet mode optimized. Hit allow. And. Sorry for not focusing, but that's been granted super user permission. So let's see. Let's go to configuration. Maybe we have to reboot. User default UI. Let's go to tablet UI. And let's reboot. And plus, I I can actually show you guys the uh, the boot up animation. So let's reboot the phone. Um, in case you're wondering about the case, I'm actually letting my mom use this phone. So, oh, that's bright. And here's the boot up animation. Now you, um, so right off the bat, you can see that the notification drawer is on the bottom. Let's unlock it. So the home screen is still basically the same. I didn't turn on like the auto rotate and home screen settings. So let's go up here to menu. Let's go to general, auto rotate. Check that to on. And let's go back. And you can also bring up those from there. Um, you can change the toggles that you have down here. I just kind of left that as default, but like you can change those in the CM settings. You can see there's a lot more view of apps when that focuses. All right, so let's jump into camera. And as you can see, that the, the camera is in the tablet mode UI. So if you've seen like the Transformer Prime 
or the transformer, Ace's transformer. Like this is what it looks like. Camera works fine. Let's try video recorder. The video recorder is not working. So that's one thing you should look out for. Let's, let's go back. Let's just hit home. Alright. And that's like, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's just like the features. So you can turn your phone into a tablet. So. Um, anything else you guys want me to look at, but that's pretty much how you turn your phone into a tablet with Paranoid Android. This is version 1.5 where they fixed all, all the bugs that they've had. And to install this, you just have to boot into Clockwork Mod re Recovery. I'm going to just show you guys how to flash this real quick. If you don't have this, just power off your phone, press and hold volume down and power until you get into the boot loader and then use volume down to go down to recovery and then press the power on recovery and it'll boot you to this, this screen this all depends on what kind of recovery that you have um, installed go to wipe data factory set hit yes hit yes on wipe data factory set Go down to wipe cache. Go down to yes, wipe cache. I'm going to go back, then go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Once you've wiped all of those, go back to the main screen. Just to focus, go to choose zip from SD card. Go to the bottom, and you'll see. Paranoid Android 1.5 VVAL, which is the uh, Droid Incredible 2. Install that. Go through the Aroma installer, then come back and install the G apps. ICS fixed. I put a link to these in the uh, description. Just make sure you install those. Then when that's all done, just go back and reboot to phone, and that's pretty much it.